Hey, sup everybody. In today's video, I'm going to give you an introduction to conditional rendering in React. Conditional rendering allows you to control what gets rendered in your application based on certain conditions. By utilizing conditional rendering, we can show, hide, or change components. Here's an example. We'll create a user greeting component. Let's go to our source folder, new file, user greeting, and this will be a JSX file. I will be using function-based components. Function, the name of the component, user greeting. We will have one parameter, props. We learned about props in the last video. Before I forget, I'm going to export default the component name, just so that we can import it later. Heading back to our app component, we will return a user greeting component user greeting by using props we'll send two key value pairs to our user greeting component is logged in this will be a boolean value we'll check to see if we're logged in or not and a username username equals this is a string so we do not need a placeholder type in your name or username then we do need to import user greeting import user greeting from a location dot forward slash user greeting dot JSX. Let's save everything, head to our user greeting component. We have these two key value pairs that are stored within our props object. I'll use an if statement to check to see if we're logged in or not. If props is an object we will access props followed by dot is logged in is this true or not if it is then let's return an h2 element with text of welcome i'd like to include some javascript i'll use curly braces let's take props dot our username let's see if this works welcome bro code or whatever your name is so what if we're not logged in i will set is logged in to be false well nothing appears to happen going back to our user greeting let's add an else statement else we will return an h2 element with text of please log in to continue please log in to continue Within our function-based component, we can check some logic using an if statement. If some condition is true, return this. If not, return something else. Now, technically, you don't need the else statement. You could just say return. Because when you return, you exit. This would work too. As you can see. I don't think it's as explicit as using an else statement. Another option is to use the ternary operator, which we learned in JavaScript. We will return check props dot is logged in at a question mark. Is this true or is it false? If it's true, then we'll return an H2 element that says welcome. I'll add some JavaScript props dot username. I'm going to close this menu just so we can see if this condition is true, return this. Otherwise, add a colon, we'll return something else. We'll add an h2 element. Please log in to continue. This statement is pretty lengthy. I'm going to put each part of the statement on a new line, just so we can read it easily. If is logged in is true, return this h2 element. If not, return this h2 element currently we're logged in that is true if i set this to be false well then we get that login prompt please log in to continue you'll more commonly see people use ternary operators rather than if else statements just because they're more concise let's apply some css styling going back to our app component we'll set is logged in to be true we'll add a class name to each of these h2 components Class name equals the first h2 element if our condition is true, 
we'll have a class name of welcome dash message. Our second H2 element will have a class name of login dash prompt. Going to our CSS style sheet, let's select the class of welcome message. I'll apply the following CSS properties. Let's set the font size to be 2.5 EM. I'll change the background color. I like using HSL values. I'll go with this shade of green. Let's change the font color to be white. I'll add a little bit of padding, 10 pixels. I'll add a border radius to round the corners. Then set margin to be zero. Here is our user greeting component if the user is logged in. Let's style the login prompt class next. Dot login prompt. Really, I'll just copy these properties, but we'll change the background color. Let's change the background color to be red. All right, let's set is logged in to be false. Then our user greeting component should have those different CSS properties. Please log in to continue. If I set that to be true, well then we're logged in. Welcome, your username. Within our user greeting, this ternary operator is very verbose. Here's another way in which we can use the ternary operator in this situation. Let's create two constants. Const, the first will be welcome message. Be sure not to include any dashes though. Separately, we'll store these H2 elements. I'm going to copy this first H2 element. We'll store that within our welcome message. Just so we can read it, I'm going to place each line on a new line. Then let's create another constant. Const login prompt. Be sure to eliminate any dashes. We will be using a camel case naming convention. Take our second H2, cut it, paste it. And there we go. I find that a lot easier to read. So we're going to take our condition is logged in. If that's true, we'll return our constant, our welcome message. Otherwise, we'll return our other constant, our login prompt. And that will work still the same. Let's set that to be false. Please log in to continue. Set it back to be true. Welcome your username. I find this syntax a lot easier to read. Now it is good practice if you're accepting props to set up prop types. Just in case the values that are passed in are not of the correct data type, you'll at least get a warning for debugging purposes. It's a good habit that we should develop. We learned about prop types in the last video. So at the top, let's import prop types from prop dash types. After our function, take our user greeting component dot prop types equals take our keys is logged in. The value with this associated key should be a Boolean prop. That's capital T types dot bool. Then a string for username, user name, prop types dot string. All right. The last thing we're going to do is set up default props. What if somebody's logged in, but they don't have a username? We'll set a default for the username as guest. So after our prop types, we'll set up some default props. Again, take user greeting. That's the name of our component dot default props equals is logged in will be false and username will be guest if there's no username passed in. All right, going back to our app component, if a user is logged in, but there's no username, let's eliminate that. We'll get the welcome message of welcome guest. Now, if a user is not logged in, regardless, we don't display the username. All right, everybody. So that's conditional rendering. 
you can check some sort of condition. Based on if that condition is true or false, we can show, hide, or change components. There's many different ways in which you can do that. And well, everybody, that is an introduction to conditional rendering in React.